Hi folks, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how to do slotting on Skydive Designer. So I've created a very simple 20 person skydive um, and now I'm going to go into the slotting phase. So up at the top right hand corner we've got our main tabs, we're in the design tab at the moment, the little plane icon is our slotting tab and we see slotting at the top now. Um, the next selector down lets us slot planes or people as a review mode which shows them both and it has um, some labels which we'll get to in a second. So let's start with the planes. We see our little kind of blue uh, selector trying to show us to tap on the edit button. So we do that and we add planes and we're going to have, uh, let's say a caravan and a G92. Um, and you can customize your plane here. You can put the number of slots, um, number of floaters, and uh, you can name the planes if you want lead, uh, right trail, you know, whatever it might be that you want to put in here. Um, so, so that's that. Let's have a look at our planes here. Um, you see there's stars uh, beside uh, A1 um, and the star just shows that it's a floater slot. So I'm just going to drag, uh, drag these out. I'm not going to think about doing this properly uh, because this is just a very quick demonstration. Um, and as you see, we can uh, we can quite easily put people out. And if I see I've made a mistake, I can just drag a slot, you know, one one place to the next. Um, so get everybody slotted, um, and um, and there we have it. So everyone has a slot. Um, I haven't thought about these, these are not sensible slots, but they hopefully demonstrate um, how to use the app. So we get on to people. So again, uh, tap on the edit button to enter people. This is a lot easier to see in portrait mode, but I'm stuck in landscape for the video. Um, so we can type in names, um, Tom, um, and uh, we, can, we can do that. Um, but if we've got more than a couple of people, it's painful to type them in. So I'm going to remove all of these and show you an easier way. Um, now, I've done the preparation here. I look in the Files app. Um, I've actually saved a roster. It's a simple text file. I've saved it in iCloud Drive, uh, in Skydive Designer, um, in my Examples folder, um, under my slotting demo. and. It's just a text file. It's called roster.txt and it's got a whole list of names in it. So if I go back to Skydive Designer and I click load, it's going to show me exactly that same kind of file selector. Um, so this is down in the examples folder, slotting demo, and there's roster.txt. If I load that up, it's given me my list of people here. Um, and I can see I've got, got 30 people in that list. Um, that's one way to do it. Uh, I'm going to remove all of those though and show you another way. Um, if I go into the Notes app, um, and let's have a look at this, and it's just a text file, um, and I select all these names, copy them, go back to the app, and press paste, use a little paste icon here, um, then that has added my 20 people. And just like with the slots, I can drag these guys out uh, and put them, um, put them in places. And you can you can see it kind of shows you the slotted people and the unslotted people. Um, and yeah, we can continue drag everybody out, give everybody a slot. Um, as I'm doing this, it's kind of showing me where people are, so I can kind of keep an eye on. Um, on whether those slots make sense. We can look at the review um, tab, the third tab along, which does more or less the same thing. Um, shows me the slots in order, and it shows me who's who's in each of those slots. Um, the other thing I can do here is I can just add a couple of little labels. So I can label my super floater, and uh, you know my my kind of organizer. I can give them a little arrow or a load organizer label or whatever. So that's that for slotting. Um, quick tip here. If you want to see what's happening in the design view, you can go to the display options and you can choose what's on display. So I could show people. Um, these names are a bit uh, 
uh, bulky, so maybe I just want to show the show the slot um, or show the info points. Um, but I can I can pick what I want to. I can I can kind of show it all again. It gets it gets kind of bulky there. Um, so that's it for for the basics. Um, the only other kind of useful point here is that there is a print button. Um, I've used this kind of in anger on the ground where I've gone with a jump that I've already worked out what my slotting plan is, so where all the plane slots are. And um, I've maybe even assigned a few people, but I want to let jumpers walk up and pick slots that they like. Um, I know my list of people, so I've already got that typed in. And then I was able to just very quickly walk around and drag people into the, the slots uh, they're in. Um, I can then tap on print and print out um, a list for manifest, which is on a little tiny receipt printer. It's um, about the size of a, I guess, a bulky cigarette packet. Um, we've got a separate video on how to use that. It's pretty cheap, it's about $30 for the printer. And you can then take that straight over to manifest and say, this is how people are on different planes. And that was very effective. I'm gonna show one more thing. I'm gonna show publishing this jump. So I'm going to upload the file um, and manage and publish this file online. So let me log in. Okay, so I'm logged in and I can see my jump. Um, and it actually shows me what I'll be able to show to people. So I can publish this and people will get this roster and they'll get this jump up here. Now you can even say their names on the jump. And of course they can watch as it moves to the second point and see where they all are. Um, one nice approach that I want to show that a few people have done is to just provide a diagram um, for their jumps to show how they're interpreting the slotting. Um, and you can do this when you publish a jump on the Skydive Designer web page. So I'm going to tap onto collections here and I'm going to show you uh, Leslie Gale's Autumn Big Way Camp. And you see here, she's just created an image uh, that shows uh, where exactly people are um, on the, the Dornier and on the caravan. And she's just added that image to the published jumps. Um, so you can then see the, the various different jumps. Uh, Shanna can show the, the slots here. So that's a really nice approach that a couple of people have used. That's that. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Um, try to make slotting simple. Uh, please send me any feedback, any suggestions you have on how I can improve it. Thank you.